Uh, next item set the 2013 annual meeting agenda, and that was embedded. The proposed agenda was embedded, which is pretty standard. Mm -hmm. Yes, the only new item is authorization of East Highland School Forest property under new business. So. Do you want to add anything on the 1415 budget? Do you want to be discussing the possibility of a or the decrease in debt? Or what? Well, I think we just we need to be looking at <coughs> what's going to happen in 1415, not from a uh, perspective like we looked at tonight for 1314, but just you know like we did in January where we said, all right, if we took in based on percentage increase, what would 14-15 look like so that we can now start formulating plans and what we're going to do a year from now. Because we talked about a potential um, million dollar deficit or a $1.2 million deficit. You had health care reform on that. You know, we, we saw in the paper a, a potential $2 million deficit. You know, we have some debt dropping off and it, it's very important that we start planning on those things right now moving forward mm -hmm. so you're suggesting adding that to that well, I, as an I, item i think it just at least give the the uh, taxpayers an mm -hmm. idea of what we're facing i would highly recommend that uh, um, at our board academy you know not only do we talk about a lot of these things we talked about tonight but uh 14 15 certainly needs to come to the front right away here too especially if we have any desire to potentially going to a uh, referendum to look at adding back some of the programs that we lost based on the amount of um, debt that will be dropping off at the end of this year. So we would add a letter D, change the order and add a new business, and under new business it would read um, 2014-15 budget considerations or budget. Preview. 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 That's fine. So the, I mean, the, the additions to the revenue limit just haven't really changed that picture. I don't see. Oh yeah, it's going to change it significantly, you know, but we need to see what that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know, is it? Are we out of the woods? If we're out of the woods, you still need to decide if you want to add programs back. Uh, if we're not out of the woods, do you go to referendum to <coughs> backfill the potential deficit there and add whatever programs you can back? I mean, there's right. Right. a lot of different things you need to be looking ahead to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be added, you say, as item D under 10, under Actually, new business? I'll probably add it as item C and move communication with the public to item D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, sale of school property is just always on there as a standard. Well, item. there's there's a specific one in in. Did you, did you have that specific language on there? I, I have the easement on school folks property, but we have authorization of our sale of school property. You're talking about item six, Mr. McMullen. Well, I was just looking down through those, the ones that just seem like they get their, um, a standard item. Mm -hmm. uh, the sales school property, the furnishing school meals, free textbooks, yeah. salaries of school board members. Those all look very standard and familiar. Yeah. What's, what's new, I guess, I, that stood out, yes, was that easement? Mm -hmm. There was a power line running through the... Um, Property, I believe it's on Highway 12, yeah, 1216. Yes. Uh, just on the other side of, get my bearings, Jackson Pass. You go up over Jackson Pass, and actually sitting in the Sparta School District, there's an 80 acre school, Toma School for us, and they'll be running a power line through that, and they want to get an easement from us. Now, there will be some uh, revenue associated with that, but mm -hmm. obviously not a lot. So. <coughs> to approve that or not approve it. And is that something that 
specifically would go to an annual meeting or it just happens to be Has that we're... You can have, well, last time we sold school property, we had to have a, basically a special meeting to have it. This is, is a, a, a point in time in the year that if you know you have school property, it gives you the ability to, to have your uh, uh, meeting and you're authorized to do it. Okay. Otherwise, you have to have a sch uh, schedule a special meeting. Well, and that's specifically for a sale. For the sale. But the easement. But this, this falls since under that same it discussion. It does. That okay. Yes. Because, yeah. of yeah. because of the revenue. Because of the revenue. Okay. So, but it would not be just then included under number six. Um, I would like to check on that. Okay. I don't know for sure. I don't know that it matters, but. Um, everything else, I mean, levying the school tax, setting the levy is standard. Now, does anyone else have any other questions about that agenda? Um, WASB does put out a nice booklet on. Oh, We've that's made right. a copy. Of the no, thank you very much. One step ahead of me. Which is very nice. It's very good. Any other questions about the agenda? That's a meeting that the whole board goes to, right? Or our, the, our the whole the the annual annual meeting is for the taxpayers and oh, the, so the board the, is essentially just really there as a taxpayer also, but we do elect someone, and, and the general public does elect someone to run the meeting. Traditionally, it's been the for our board president, um, but wouldn't have to be I guess. But the electors vote, vote. Mm -hmm. on everything along right. with us. Oh, right. We're just and there is a member of the And you're able to vote and as a vote. citizen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's been held at the um, high school cafeteria. cafeteria. Uh, Mr. Gorder will do a budget meeting prior to that. He'll start at 7.30 to do a review of the budget, and then 8 o'clock is when the annual meeting is held. Um, then I'd look for a motion to approve the annual school district meeting agenda as presented and as amended to add... 2014-15 budget preview. 2014-15 budget preview. Mm -hmm. okay. I will so move with also the ability for you to change um, where you locate the easement if you prefer to put it with number six or leave it as is. So can we re-say that motion? <laughs> oh. um, I, I would move to approve the annual meeting agenda as presented with the addition of an item under number um, 10 new business um, that would uh, be 2014-15 preview, budget, budget preview. preview, and with the ability for you to change the placement of the easement either leaving it as is under new business or putting it up under um, item, six. item six. Whichever no, no. works. Change in place. Change in place. Of the easement. Something close to that? Pretty close. Okay. Pretty close. Um, is there a second? Yes. Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second then to approve the proposed annual school district meeting agenda as presented with the addition of one new item of new business, which would be the 2014 2015 budget preview as well as authorizing um, a change in the agenda to move the 
uh, easement issue to item six, if appropriate. Is that fair? Yes. Any other questions or comments? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say no. The ayes have it. The motion carries and that agenda is approved.